you know what? I never feel more like an independent, confident, powerful woman than mm. I've got a glass of sparkling mm. red in one hand or apple ties if you had problems, mm. Jimmy. Mm. <laughs> and I'm talking to a group of women I do not like or respect. Yeah, that's <laughs> the perfect girl power. Now, that is a perfect girl's yeah. night. Now, I've got a little tip for you ladies. The perfect thing that I like to bring out on a girl's night. Hello, can I get a cheer if you recognise this? <laughs> Okay, that's fine. So what I like to do is pour myself a chilled glass of white and pop a prawn on the side as a stunning little garnish. Sorry. <laughs> that is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Right? And I'm not touching the prawn because I'm always on the 5 too, but I'm getting the scent of it as I'm necking the wine, and that's enough for me. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Just out of interest, Len, where are you getting your prawns from these days? Iceland, Iceland, yeah. Only one place to go food shopping, that's our next tip. Iceland, I love it. Stunning supermarket, in it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's like a freezing cold food hospital. Oh, oh God. It absolutely is. Everything wrapped in metres of plastic, although, mm. although I read this week mm. that they're going to cut down on their plastic. Oh, why? 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 Yeah. It's unhygienic. Like Recently, I had to go to my local shop to pick up loose lemons. Oh, dear. Sorry. It's dangerous. Oh, that is dangerous. Because two weeks later, right, I'm on my back in the doctor's surgery, my legs in stirrups, four doctors coaxing a 14-metre tapeworm out of my anus with a plate of beef shin. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's Do you know what? Funny. Sorry, David. It's not funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, well, that's us. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thank you. Mum's the word, everyone. <laughs> the scent of prawn. Yeah, just a waffle. You just get enough of it. Yeah. yeah, in a warm studio. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's really filling the area now. It was yeah. a bit prawny already because of the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Susie Dent's books are the perfect gift for anyone that likes reading. Amazon's returns policy. <laughs> 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 Susie, I hear you might be doing a tour this year. What is the Susie Dent tour? Uh, uh, what will it involve? Um, well, Susie Dent tour is like a Jimmy Carr tour, but it's about £20 cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, so you're on tour. Go on, tell me. Well, basically, I just talk for an hour and then I will answer people's queries. So what, what's the most common question you get asked, then? Uh, don't know if it's... I have been asked this twice this year already, which is quite a common question, and that is... One of them was from quite an elderly lady, and she said, what does a G stand for in G-spot? What does it stand for? It stands for a guy called Hingis Greifenberg, who was the lucky guy who found it. <laughs> it's interesting because do you know you've uh, written a book about this yeah, haven't so, you? Yeah, um, so there's a woman called Beverly Whipple who actually discovered it and didn't want it named after her. It was going to be called Whipple's Tickle and she didn't want, <laughs> and she didn't want her name used on it. And there's no part of the oh. vagina that's named after a person that isn't named after a man. Yeah. Whipple's a much Whipple's better name. Yeah. I've got another good vagina fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this show yes. just got excellent. Apparently, the G-spot isn't actually a real thing, but the clitoris is, like, ten centimetres long. Wow. OK. And isn't it true it was originally called the Clitter Chris? After <laughs> 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 okay. the guy that found it. The guy called Chris who found it first. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was actually in lower six with him. Yeah, he's a good bloke. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and in charge of the numbers, it's Rachel Riley. Rachel's clitoris is ten centimetres long. <laughs> that might be a small penis, Rachel. We need to talk. Um, <laughs> I might have one of those. 